What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, welcome to another unboxing video. It's really an unpacking video. Um, I had my camera set up on this little tabletop tripod so I figured I would just film one other quick video since I have it. Um, I got these and this is basically, so this is a Pokemon card unboxing or unpacking if you weren't sure. I have one pack of the Sun and Moon, this is from Target, this cost $4.19. But I also saw these, these are these little mini packs that came from the dollar store. There's only three cards in each one, I can't imagine that there's anything good in these packs but I thought it was interesting that they sold these at the dollar store and I'm assuming that they were almost packaged and meant for the dollar store because they're so small and there's really not that many cards. Um, a dollar for three cards isn't bad if there's an opportunity to get good cards but if there's no good cards in these then it's really not worth it but I thought I would go ahead and test it out. So I have two, four, six, eight. I have ten of these packs and then one good pack. So let's go ahead and quickly unbox this. I'm gonna go turn the camera around and we're gonna do it like you know the style that most people do card packings. Let's do this! Alright this is a little bit of a different angle than the last time we did this but let's go ahead and test this out. I don't know how well it's gonna work. So here we go. We're just gonna quickly open these packs from the dollar store. And this is from the Sun and Moon series. Again, I can't imagine that there's any good cards in here, but it was worth a shot, right? Oh look, they came with these. Oh no, it didn't. I thought that was a digital card. Okay, we got a Litten, a Lantern, and a Wishy Washy, <laughs> Wishy Washy. So, so far just kind of common cards. I'll be so psyched if we get a good card in one of these, but I really can't imagine that we're going to. We got a Torkoal, a Sparrow, and a Trumbeak. These actually would be worth it if they came with the digital download code, but these are all just like promo cards or whatever. We have an Alolan Meowth, which is cool, a Lantern, and a repel. Let me know what you guys think about this angle, if you like this angle a little bit better. Um, I actually have the camera tripod straight on my bed right now, which gives for better focusing, I think. We have a Rowlet, a Fomantis, and a Toric Cat. Again, these aren't bad. Um, I probably could just not open some of these and put them in my prize box. That would have been a good idea. Uh, we have a Sandile, a Snubble, an Energy, and again, that card. But the good thing about this is that when kids pick Pokemon cards for my prize box, they don't just get three cards. They actually get ten regular cards, and they get to pick one rare card and with the chance of getting a potential EX card. So we have a Chinchou, a Carvana, and then a double colorless energy. In this next pack we have a Picky Pick, a Lantern, and an energy. It's kind of lame when you get energies, I guess, in these packs, because that's, you don't want that. We have a Fomantis, an Alolan Grimer, that's cool, a Metapod. This pack has a Shelter, a Cosmog, a Golbat. And this is the last dollar store pack. We got a Growlithe, a Cloister, and this is cool because this is actually technically a rare, which is nice. I'm sure there was a couple other rares. And uh, what is the Lima Trainer? All right, so that was kind of a bust, but now we know that those dollar packs really just give us kind of regular common cards. Although, again, we did get a couple rare cards, so that's kind of cool. Those will go in my common giveaway. Let's go ahead and open up this pack. This is the pack from Target. Again, these cost $4.19 when you get them individually packaged like this. All right, so this is our normal, what a normal pack looks like. Let's give it some good uh, mojo right now. Let's check it out. Here is the download thing if you want it. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can think of it. We got an, a water energy. We've got a steeny. We've got an energy revival, retrieval. <laughs> a Corsola. A Bond Suite. A Dew Piter. A Marini. This is the one that's like really, really, really sad if you look at its face, it's so sad. We've got a Stuffle, a Togedemaru, reminds me of Togepi, we have a Brion, I don't know if I'm saying that right, for our Reverse Hollow, and uh, we got a, a Hollow Arcanine, so this is a regular Hollow, not bad, but not 
an EX or a GX or whatever they have. So, um, so yeah, that was just a really quick unboxing. Just wanted to kind of show you if any of you guys see these, these little skinny packs at the dollar store, just know that you get three cards in it. They are, they do have some rare cards to be honest, but no, I don't think that those packs are going to have the option of getting any like GX cards or anything like that. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about this. And if you guys like Pokemon, Pokemon cards and if any of you guys have been collecting any of the Sun and Moon, what kind of GX cards have you been receiving? There's some really cool GX cards that I saw in this little booklet that I got in the in my Elite Trainer box, but look at these. Look at these. These are like rainbow GX cards, which I thought was so cool. So hopefully one day we can get some of those. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!